Hello and welcome to this new video tutorial of live sales notification for the WooCommerce and in today's video tutorial I'll be showing you how this plugin allows the customers or TS users to view all of the notifications related to the sales in the reviews at the web store front end. Initially uh, the web store owner will have to configure the position color display time animation for the notification and on the storefront customers can view the live order and rating notifications by visiting the front end uh, web store. Uh, the uh, customers can also uh, tap on the notifications and uh, shall get redirected to the product page and apart from that uh, initially the web store owner can view a preview of the orders and the ratings pop notification. So uh, let me take you further and let me show you how this particular plugin works at the front end and thereafter we'll be showing you the backend module configuration for this live sales notification for the WooCommerce by Webpool. So let me take you to the web store front end first. So right now I'm at the web store front end as you can see and on the top right hand side you can see the uh, live order notification uh, that uh, with the name of the customer and uh, with the uh, address and now you can see the ratings by uh, the name of the customer and uh, the stars that have been given to that particular product and here you can see that uh, the customer name the place uh, the sunglasses and the price of the sunglasses as well so these notifications are real time uh, and we can tap on these to uh, with the particular product as well so here for that particular uh, product we have tapped it so let me tap here once again hoodie with the logo so we reach the product page for that particular product notification and this is again a uh, order notification there and uh, this one is the rating notification let me tap the link for the uh, review or review uh, review the for the review and uh, actually this is how uh, the uh, customers can uh, check the uh, or will find the live notifications for the uh, orders that have been placed uh, are getting placed and uh, the reviews for the products as well so you can set up the uh, notification uh, uh, position as uh, top right, bottom left and top left hand side as well. So uh, that was about how uh, the customers can with the live uh, order and the review notifications on the web store front end. And similarly, if the, uh, uh, if the customers have added or the user, guest users have added the product into the cart at that very moment as well, they'll be able to see the same and on the category pages as well and uh, that that's much about the functionality of this particular module and um, now the uh, customers can also uh, check the products for which the notifications are being displayed by tapping the link uh, within those uh, notifications so now let, let me take you to the web store uh, backend and let me show you how the admin would be able to configure these particular uh, live order and rave notifications uh, from the model configuration settings so for that let me take you to the admin backend panel now so here i am at the uh, admin backend panel i've already logged into my admin account and after you've successfully installed this particular plugin uh, that's the woocommerce uh, live sales notification what you need to do is you need to navigate on to the live sales notification on the side uh, on the side panel as you can see here so i'll tap on the live sales notification and here we have uh, three different uh, tabs that need to be configured. One is the general, then we have the sales pop-up, then we have the rating pop-up. So along with the rating pop-up, on the right-hand side, we also have a preview button to see the actual uh, outcome of the notification, how it would be, uh, how it would appear to the customers at the web store front end. Similarly, for the sales pop-up as well, we have the option to preview the uh, notification and under the general we will be setting up the different configuration settings so uh, under the general we have the module status so here you can choose the enable or disable option to enable or disable the particular functionality of this module on within your WooCommerce uh, store then we have the display name so here you can choose to enable or disable this so if you want that the customer's name should be displayed within the notification uh, within the live notification then you can choose this option as a enable similarly you can display the city as well if you want uh, to display the city of the customer so then you need to choose enable here otherwise you can choose disable as per your requirement there then we have the display time in seconds basically how much time 
the notifications will get displayed on the screen so for example we have set it as five so whenever the notification appears at the uh, web store front end it will stay there for five seconds and then would disappear now we can also set up the delay in seconds so basically delay uh, what happens within the, the, the delay is uh, we can set the seconds uh, after which the other notification would appear at the web store front end so for example if i see the notification right now then after th uh, a three second delay i'll be seeing the next uh, uh, product or the review rating uh, notification then we have the limit so here we can set up how many notifications would this get displayed at a time so we can set up it as five so five uh, times uh, is the limit for the order and the reviews so five different uh, reviews and the orders would get uh, displayed and lastly we have the option to display on mobile so you can choose this option as a enable or disable if enable then uh, you'll also be able to uh, the customers will be able to view the particular notifications on their mobile devices as well and lastly we can tap the save changes to save the default configuration now let's go to the sales pop-up and within the sales pop-up uh, we have the option to enable the save pop uh, sales pop-up status by choosing an enable enable then we have the pop-up layout uh, we can uh, choose any of the uh, layouts for the pop-up so whenever the pop-up comes uh, you can set it as a dotted dash solid double groove ridge inset outset and dotted dash solid double as well any of the theme there so uh, then we can choose the position as top right top left top center bottom left bottom center or the bottom right as per your own requirement and you can also choose the pop-up styles wherein uh, you will be able to set up the text color so you can choose a text color uh, for the text that would be visible on the notification itself and similarly the link color so the product that would be displayed within that notification you can set up its uh, hyperlink color as well you can also choose to set up the last caption so uh, you can choose a color for that and uh, lastly you can choose the background color for the notification pop-up that appear, appears on the web store front end lastly you can tap the save changes at the bottom to save the changes apart from that uh, you can also uh, for the sales pop-up you can also tap the preview button here to view the actual uh, notification how it wouldn't uh, appear at the front end so you can see that uh, we have the customer name and the area where he lives the product with the URL and uh, we have the color options as well like color is red size is small the price and the number of customers who are viewing this particular product right now so that was about the sales pop-up now let's go to the rating pop-up similarly here also we can enable by choosing an enable option then we can set up the pop-up uh, pop layout as uh, from the given uh, ones then we have the position where you want to set up the uh, notification from where you, you want to bring it out like top left top center top right top bottom left bottom center and the bottom right then we have the pop-up styles wherein we'll be able to set up the text color within the notification itself so we can choose a color for that then we have the link color how the what would the color of the link for the product that is within the notification you can set up that as well you can set up the last caption and the background color for the notification itself lastly you can tap on the save changes button to save all the configurations and after this you'll be able to uh, uh, to set up the functionality within your WooCommerce uh, web store so tapping the preview for the rating pop-up here you can see the rating is there uh, the name of the customer is his uh, his address and uh, the link for the product and uh, the time when the uh, customer had uh, made this particular review like the about two hours two hours ago so so that was much about the live sales notification for the WooCommerce uh, platform and I hope uh, it helped you out in understanding the workflow for this and if you have any questions or queries regarding this particular plugin, then you can always get back to us at support at the rate of webcool.com or you may raise it at webcool.uvs.com. Thanks for watching this video and have a great day ahead.